Do this, Joy. Pardon me? How'd you do that? Every one of those little marks is put on there with a wood burner. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's a that's a George type thing too. And this kind of wood? Lace that's wood. lace wood. That's natural. What kind of wood? Lace, lace, lace wood. Lace. Lace. Expensive. <laughs> I believe the head is walnut and cedar. Incredible. Is this a new one that you did or something you've done in the past? No, that's something I did a couple of years ago when I wasn't coming to the meeting and George wanted to see it, so I brought it. Oh, um, looks great. <laughs> said it's 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 an interesting cut it's a boring cut there's a lot of lot of pieces but it all uh, interlocks to make it make it work the only glue I have is on the couple antlers on the top that you know I figured they they would fall out if I didn't glue them and there's just as many pieces in the little one as there is in the big one <laughs> And no animals were harmed in the right. of this project. <laughs> it's a nice, in a nice rack of rack too. You only got ten pointed. And I had a uh, a lady who makes cakes that wanted uh, wanted to display her cakes differently than on plexiglass. So I made a bunch of cake plates for her, and that was one I kept. Just a you know firewood firewood pile and. Uh, and just a round piece of oak. Then the, uh, that's the class that's going to be in September. Yeah, one of those days I put in my pocket. Yeah, whatever those days are, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the hot air balloons. They're all interlocking. They're interlocking for the uh, balloon itself and the gondola. And then you just use some, use some wire to attach the two. And I have, that's the big size, and then I also have another size that's about about three inches, I guess, that you can make. So that's what we'll do, be doing in that class. It is September. That one box is mine, Jim. Uh, several months ago, someone, and if they're here, uh, please let me know, brought in several logs of uh, box elder wood that they were giving away. Anybody remember who did that? Or? Yeah. I don't know. Who did that? That, that was me. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, now, myself and Eric. I took one of them home and split it in half of the log and trimmed the two edges off with the bandsaw and then put a fence on the, on the bandsaw and made some lumber out of it. Uh, Almost a month ago, my youngest daughter said, Dad, I've had my blankie, which the label up on the top of there tell you that it's a memorial blankie box. Ever since she was born, she had this blanket with her for 32 years. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, in the middle of last month, she gave birth to her first daughter and said, I mean, this blanket went on the honeymoon. This blanket, you know, it was there. And, and a normal baby blanket will now put remains of it will easily fit inside that box. It's just tattered pieces. So she said, I need a memorial blankie box. So I said, okay, I know just the kind of wood I need. And I had just enough to make the one box, but it was plenty. So, 
cherry keys on the on the end. The, oh, so it's not dovetails. No, no, they're just key. They're looks key. Like to, like you use a dovetail bit to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's awesome. yeah. But it's a lot easier. Than okay, you're fair. <laughs> <laughs> looks great. That one's fine. <clears throat> Tommy. It's on. Yep, Tommy. Steve, good pattern. He's a barn board. How would you attach the pattern to that? Well, it's kind of smooth, okay. Well, how do you get that into the scroll saw? It just looks like it would be just too big to fit in the throat of the scroll saw. Let's get a spiral bit. No, a yeah. spiral bit would be very good. You need a straight man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really like I have more jokes about what I want to do. That's mine. This is I'm Walt. That's a pattern. I think it was in the Scroll Saw magazine. Uh, been meaning to do it for quite a while. Finally got around to do it. I found a headpiece old that fit it pretty good. What kind of a blade on that one? Straight. I use a uh, number three ultra reverse. <laughs> Walt, did you count up how many uh, drills, drill holes you had to put in that to make? Oh, that was not too bad. I think it was only a couple hundred. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it's not that many. No, it's 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 got it's not actually cuts. not it's probably not that many. It's a lot of long, narrow cuts on that one. The problem I had with it was some of the some of the really long fingers that you had. They the wood moved, so they didn't stay in place. I had to put a backer board on to glue everything back and forth <laughs> so it stayed where it's supposed to be. Uh, and that's mine. That's a Steve Good pattern. I have a lot of family members that play stringed instruments from violin, viola, double bass. So I, I had to make that for, uh, I made four of them so I'll be giving out a bunch of them. Yeah, those are mine. They're just, uh, the first couple of things I returned on the lathe. Mm -hmm. One cup, candlestick holder, and a mallet. Mm -hmm. well, first project will look good. Did you use the mallet? Not, Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's for her. No. <laughs> <laughs> we know who she's going to use it on. <laughs> probably, I probably should hide it. <laughs> Which one's a candlestick holder? The one left? Yeah. The candlestick holder part is a piece of oak I had laying around, and everything else is fine. You supposed to drill a hole in that? Yeah, or you can put something on top. Yeah, I don't have. I need to find out if they have a tapered bit or. If it's you drill a straight hole, and I think I've seen like little metal uh, inserts you put down, yeah. and you actually you glue in and put the candle on. I I don't know. I got to look into that. Yeah. You can do that, or the, like that insert cup you're talking about. You can actually just screw it through that into there, and it can sit on top. Yeah. Oh. One thing I've done is just take a spade bit and you can grind it to the profile you want on a spade bit. Oh, that's good. That way you can taper it and put it in. Yeah, and keep it for next time. I guess you can make the other the mallet into a candlestick holder too. I mean, the bottom of it's flat, so I guess I'd drill a hole in that, make one out of that too, dual purpose kind of thing. Yeah. That'd be a better idea. Yeah, well, if you make it a candlestick, there's less chance you're going to throw it like a mallet. Hi, uh, Jack Morris. That's my wormy apple. The worms are pipe cleaner dyed orange, and the bowl, two bowls like that, and the apple all came out of one piece of. Box Elder, the best piece that I, Box Elder I ever got. It wasn't full of white rock. 
and my wife says, that's mine. I says, no, it's not. I'm keeping that for myself. <laughs> what's, inside, what, what's used inside it? Well, I tried just that pearl, and, but it was transparent, that glossy pearlex. And so oh, did I, you paint it or something like that? or? Yeah, I, well, I used uh, titanium white acrylic. I got you. And, and then I sprayed the pearlex over it, which gives it that glossy. Yeah. You can see the pearl paint from here. It looks good. But the pearl paint itself mm. wouldn't cover up the wood because it's transparent. Gotcha. Mm. Even multiple coats. Mm. <coughs> yeah, I was turning that piece on. I was going to make a, a deeper bowl. And I said, no, if I do that, I'm going to lose all the pretty. So I ended up parting off and making a second bowl. That's the thing about box art, man. You, you get down to a point where you just say, like, you know, that's anything further, I'm gonna screw it up, you know. And yeah. <laughs> that's an acrylic sunline pen. I got bored with the regular shape, so I played around with the shape a little bit. Beautiful piece of plastic, too. There you go. He said he's gonna give it to his niece, so I didn't put a claim on it. <laughs> Those are mine, Mike Peace. Uh, there, there's some props I was going to discuss tonight. Uh, the one on the right, the solid one, is uh, we had Hal Simmons sometime earlier last last year, who showed us how to turn those, and and that's that's a fairly easy ornament to make. Piece? It's not hollow. Yeah, it's one piece. And then the uh, that's just your normal globe ornament but the uh, hot air balloons kind of was kind of a refreshing new design that somebody in North Carolina had come up with because it doesn't seem see when it comes to turning there seems to be a limited number of basic concepts for ornaments and and that one was kind of a new I one well it was new it was new that that year Jack <laughs> it, it wasn't your idea, was it? <laughs> no, I still <laughs> right, like yeah. Else to... But I mean, it was, it was a fairly new idea when it came out. Uh, and that's mine, uh, natural edge winged bowl of cherry. Uh, and then the, uh, the, the blank, the uh, stand is kind of uh, interesting. I got that idea from Stuart Batty had a website back when he had a wood turning business. segment wood turning and that's the first time I've ever done anything uh, segment type turning and uh, it's quite interesting it's 100 and, there's 112 pieces and it's all made out of maple hmm. nice job how far can you <laughs> throw it <laughs> go on <laughs> 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 Sharpen, turn, sharpen, turn, sharpen, turn. And that right there is a uh, piece of uh, 
that's a, a work in progress. I just uh, did that last night. It's um, 42 ounces of um, Slumar 41, okay, in, in a bowl. And what you can't see is I, uh, I got the idea from a guy who did a video. What was that again? Nick, Nick Zametti. Nick Zametti, okay. He took this scrap piece of wood that you see in the middle with the face plate on it, and I put all, all kinds of uh, little uh, rods made out of uh, uh, copper dyed acrylic. And it's like, 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 a, like a buckyball. So, if, so when I turn that and get the footage turning that, the bowl will be completely symmetrical and everything like that and, and, and look like measles theoretically made out of copper. So I just want to kind of show everybody a, kind of a before and after type thing, you know.